Hello everybody and welcome to Dynamic GT League's Zanassin Trophy for Race 7 from the Barcelona Catalunya Grand Prix circuit. Before we do have a look at the qualifying order, let's take a look at the current championship standings. Demon R leading the way, nine points uh, ahead of second place. He's on 95. SGP in second on 86, with Steve F1 only three behind him on 83. And then we got closely following Mandalorian in fourth, Tyler in fifth, and then Dave the Harp in sixth. Mitch is then followed by Jason, Fluffy Planet, Twilight, Bond Rich Blues, Jimmy, Groover, Formula Gary, SRI and Conrod. Okay, let's take a look at the qualifying order for this event. Race 7 of 9. So only uh, this race and then two more to go. And Demon R takes pole position. And let's see if he can convert pole into a win. Mitch can't. See if Demon R can this season. Steve F1 is also on the front row with him. SGP and Mandalorian on row two. Mitch and Tyler on row three. Diesel making his debut as a reserve on row four with Dave the Harp. Conrad and Twilight start on row five. On row six, we've got Fluffy Planet and Formula Gary. In row seven, we'll see a Groover line up alongside Bunsel. And on row eight, we've got Jimmy and Rich Blues. OK, let's head over to the commentary team with no further interruptions. And joining me on commentary today is James. James, you're looking forward to the sun in Spain? Yeah, I've just been down at the beach and I'm looking forward to this. Do you not know about social distancing? What? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait, 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 oh, I've, got, oh, I've got another important announcement. It's different to the previous one as well. Oh. Message to Louise, girlfriend of Formula Gary and part of the NHS. This is also a message to the whole NHS family from the Dynamic GT League. You are not alone. We are here for you. You are there for us. You moved in with Gary. And now you're stuck with this You are not alone You are not alone We are here for you All jokes aside, and yeah, we do like to have a joke We have to say thank you ever so much to every single member of the NHS um, We can't thank you enough um, and all of those nurses, doctors, medical staff, whoever you may be that has gone back to the NHS or volunteered to help out, thank you from every single one of us. And remember, you aren't alone. Even if you feel alone, you are not alone. So Louise, if you do need us to like kidnap him, right? Just just let us know. Give us a secret signal or something, and we'll, we'll see what we can do for you. Anyway, have a great one everybody, stay safe, stay home, and look after yourselves and those around you. Right, let's go and enjoy a bit of racing, shall we? Here we go then, the drivers lined up on the grid. Demon R on pole position, Steve F1, current champion, alongside him as the lights go out and away they go. And it looks like they've all had a decent start at the front, James. Yeah, they all pretty much set off in, in tandem. Nobody had a nightmare as Deep Dark goes to cover off Steve F1 already. Yeah, I don't think they know about social distancing either. Bloody hell. Oh, SGP snuck around the outside of Steve F1. That's caught him out. Now he's run wide. He's coming under pressure from Mitch. He's all Mitch is sideways, though. Yeah, Mandalorian's in there with Mitch side by side as they're running through turn three. But yeah, Demon R and SGP got a bit of a gap going on. 
Yeah, that they have. Mandalorian coming under a bit of pressure from Mitch and Tyler uh, Diesel. Got to mention Diesel making his debut today in the uh, white, blue, and uh, Rothmans Williams uh, Nissan um, <laughs> delivery uh, car in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah, bit of a oh, oh, uh, CF1 and Mandalorian have got a bit of a tangle there, and that's just allowed Mitch and Tyler straight through into P3 and 4. Yeah, that has Demon Arse pulling away. Uh, SGP following. Oh, Diesel got a little bit of a tank slapper on with Conrod, I think, uh, in the background. So a bit of contact further back. Bit of a shame that as the drivers make their way down towards turn 10, the hairpin. Steve F1, I think, will be kicking himself uh, a little bit here. James started second, not even the end of lap one, and he's fifth. Yeah, but we know in these races you can easily uh, make the time back up during the course of the race, so hopefully. Luckily, Steve F1's bad looks all happened on the first lap. Yeah, that is true. Now, the final chicane here is so tricky in these cars. These cars do not like sausage curbs as much as we like sausages. These cars don't. Um, so, yeah, don't be surprised if we see some spins in that final chicane. Tyler looks like he's got a decent run on Mitch here, but as he got the straight line speed, he pulls out, but no, he can't get by. Right, okay, so it's... Uh, Turn one, as we said last week, he's probably the prime candidate for the best possible oh, he's place on the for inside. an overtake. Oh, oh, right, okay, so Mitch run wide and Tyler's straight up there like a wrap of drain pipe. Yeah, that he is, but Mitch hanging it out around the outside. Tyler now goes late on the brakes into turn four, but that's going to send him deep. But he'll now have the inside line into turn five. Mitch, I do know he does not like this corner, and Mitch manages to just get ahead of Tyler. That's brilliant stuff. Yeah, that was brilliant. Just had enough speed in the previous corner to get himself back in front so that Tyler couldn't shove it up the insides to Tyler. He's going to have to think about this one, and uh, Mitch... Ooh. Oh, no, nice There. Uh, Tyler though, he's now behind Jimmy. Tyler has lost out massively there. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the manager of that bus, uh, that uh, bra manufacturer. I wonder if you want one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say it, can you? <laughs> Do Tyler's going for the pit lane. I'm saying uh, she must have been wearing double Fs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely could have been. Definitely could have been. It's almost as bad as the massage parlour though. It's gone tits up uh, due to the lockdown. Oh. <laughs> Demon R's leading the way, by the way, and I tell you what, he's got a healthy gap over SGP at the moment. Um, <laughs> you'll have to tell that one to Vicky, see what she says. <laughs> She'll probably tell you off for knowing about a massage parlour. But Indeed. Demon R has opened up a gap to SGP. It'll be interesting to see what these two do on strategy. Uh, Demon R are obviously taking pole position, and it's a track that he does like. SGP is second in the championship behind Demon R, so he's going to have to do something as Conrod is having a look up the inside of Jimmy. Jimmy gives him the room, and through Conrod goes. Uh, next up is Bunsell. Now, I'm curious. Oh, Fluffy went a little bit wide there. Surprisingly, though, Fluffy Planet nowhere near Dave the Ark today. Yeah, so, yeah, Dave the Ark needs to get a bit of a shift on and get up near the front but he's, he's not doing too bad today Xavier uh, Fluffy yeah he's behind uh, Jimmy right now and I don't think he had a great start to race but Conrod put the inside of Bunsell into the hairpin that is crucial oh Bunsell giving him so much room there that's allowed Jimmy through as well uh, I think Bunsell may have just gone a little bit deep on the brakes uh, Conrod coming under a bit of pressure no Bunsell he slipped it back up the inside of Jimmy sneaky sneaky I like it yeah uh, just looking at the uh, off-board there, Bunsell gets past Jimmy in the background. Uh, yeah, just looking at a couple of drivers there. Oh, Mandalorian into the pit, sorry James. Oh, no, no. Uh, so yeah, Conrod, I think he's close enough here to have a run at Gary. Oh yeah, he definitely is. Um, pulls to the inside, he won't have the best of grip in the braking zone, but he's got the inside line. Uh, the question, well, Mandalorian's going to come out right next to Rich. Gary's actually braked a little bit early there, doesn't want to find that one. Maybe, doesn't want to lose too much time in that. Oh no! Oh, did Fluffy oh, lose the rear off. there? 
Yeah, I don't know. He's just seems to be having a little bit of a nightmare in these opening laps. Probably, hopefully, he'll be able to get his head down and get back in the game here. So, oh, Diesel as well. I think Diesel's pitted the lap previous because he seemed to have had that moment with Conrad on the opening lap. So, yeah, Diesel and Mandalorian in the first two to be pitted. That could be all of Mandalorian having a look at the inside of Rich Blues, but yeah, that could be crucial. Uh, Rich Blues still fighting Mandalorian here. Nice to see Mandalorian's going to be on the inside. It's tricky. Rich Blues. Oh, Rich Blues got on the curb. Oh, someone else has spun. Ooh, Fluffy. Fluffy spun again. Oh, disaster for Fluffy. I'm wondering if that's why Rich went wide. You know, perhaps saw what was happening in front as Mandalorian gives uh, Jimmy a little bit of a, a bump draft down the back straight. Um, but yeah, I was going to say it's crucial for Mandalorian and Diesel in a way because the undercut, you can gain a lot of time, but around this track, it's not easy to overtake. And if you're in the traffic, you might not gain time. Demon R still leading the way ahead of SGP. Mitch has closed in on SGP, quite interestingly. Demon R's into the pits. Yeah, SGP there, just running through the final chicane. You can see the front tyres there just sliding across the tarmac rather than actually gripping up. So SGP, even though he's staying out, he is losing lap time, uh, even to Demon R, and that's why he were able to pull such a gap. And where is Demon R going to come out in relative to Diesel, who's pitted earlier? Yeah, Demon R is coming out of the pits now, so Demon R is going to come out of the pits behind Tyler as well. Um, so he's gone longer, but he has been undercut by at least three drivers at the moment. Um, but we don't know how much fuel they have taken on board. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what Demon R can do about the cars in front of him. He's already closing in on it, Jimmy. Um, but Diesel is having a look at the back of Bunsel and Demon R's through. He's, he's got past Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got past Jimmy in the background there, so unfortunately we didn't quite uh, see that on camera, but Demon R now having a little look at the back of Tyler, but Tyler's, uh, yeah, he's really been impressing us in the previous races, so I expect Tyler to be putting up a bit of a fight here. His diesel just, just clobbers the kerb, and that sent him into the kill there. That's going to be, yeah, a disaster <laughs> heading up the hill as Tyler. Looking up the inside, that is uh, Tex 2 to Tango, and ooh, just about get away with it. Demon R, he had uh, a decent run there, and uh, yeah, he's past Tyler, I think. He's going to try going around the outside. Oh, Diesel's run a little bit deep, perhaps a little bit dirty tyres. Demon R got squeezed and Dave the Arp snipping through as well. Yeah, I think Dave the Arp pitted on the same lap as Demon R. And, did, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's caught, he's caught him up and he's passed it. Yeah, um, Dave the Arp. I mean, that's the thing, two, car, two cars ahead get a little bit uh, wiggly, a bit out of shape, and it can compromise you. You can get pounced from behind as they're uh, making their way over the sausage curves there. Dave the Arp's got a decent run, Twilight into the pits. Yeah, Diesel's unfortunate. I mean, he was lovely driving, he's just unfortunate he did to wheel in the gravel, um, which has then compromised him uh, through the right hander and into the braking zone. Dave the Arp could could have a look here but thinks better of it by the looks of it yeah he's just trying to get diesel out of position and he has done going for the switch right. back and yeah, the double switch back yeah so here we go double switch back he's dave yeah gonna get up the inside no diesel's covered it off he's he's seen that one coming a mile away yeah that he has dave the arms gonna have to be careful as well because demon art is right behind him as Jimmy is there as well. oh Diesel gone a little bit wide opens the door a little bit to Dave the Arp uh, Tyler closing in on Bunsel Demon R looks like he's covering Jimmy off this is brilliant stuff though I mean the problem for Demon R is he's now been actually undercut by four people and he's losing time here compared to SGP and Mitch who haven't pitted yet and Steve F1 yeah normally we'd say it's better to pit early and then you use the boost but unfortunately Bunsell's at the head of this pack and everybody's going the same pace as Bunsell oh. and Bun Bunsell didn't qualify extremely high up that he didn't. Tyler's making the move on Bunsell. Demon R and Dave the Arp side by side through the hairpin. Yes, they are. They're going to go side by side as well through into the loopy right hander as Tyler does manage to get through Bunsell. Uh, Bunsell running a little bit wide. Diesel making the move. Dave Manar has managed to get past Dave the Arp. I made it sound like I did that on purpose there, but I didn't. It was just an absolute mess up. Mitch and Pitts. Well, talking of mess up, we're expecting lots of mess ups in that chicane. Not seen too many so far. 
No, that's true. Uh, Bunsell into the pits as well. So Demonar managed to slip past Dave the Hard there, um, and now he's got to try and hunt down uh, Diesel. But where is Mitch going to come out? Formula Gary making a move. There is Mitch. So uh, even though Mitch has stayed out longer, he has been undercut by all of the aforementioned guys. Um, but he has gone further into the race. So I wouldn't be surprised if a few cars ahead of him are going to have to pit still. Ooh. Oh, a little bit of lag there from Mitch. Hopefully that's not a sign of a, a disconnection coming his way because we really want to see him uh, fighting through the pack here as he's got the freshest tyres now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he's going to make it. Next target for him is Jimmy and we don't expect Jimmy to be holding him up much longer. No, there we go, making the move into turn five. Uh, nicely done. And the thing is for Mitch, if he can make swift moves here, he could undercut SGP. Yeah, it's if he gets caught and stuck, that will be the problem, as we see Twilight there uh, advertising some L'Oreal for men. Yes, he's also changed his uh, gamer name, but he's still the same Twilight. Um, yeah, yeah, I did notice it said uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, yeah. I wonder if he's uh, a fan of that programme, I'm pretty sure he is. As SGP nails the chicane and nails the pit entry. Yes, yeah, Steve F1 follows him in. Look look at how much fuel they've got. Uh, SGP, and there was no way either of them could have done another lap. So they've managed to go a long way, but they've been doing a bit of fuel saving by the looks of things. The question is, how much fuel are they now going to put in? Uh, if they fill the tanks, I think they could come out way behind Fif Mitch. 51 there. SGP's filled it to 51. Uh, so that tells me that's about half a tank. Yeah. You could be, at, you know, well, he's come out ahead. So Steve F1, they've come out ahead of Tyler and ahead of Diesel and ahead of Demon. That could be crucial. But Jane, crucial, yes. But they can't get to the end. No, not, no. I, I'm not no saying. Way. Well, none of, none of the cars behind can get to the end either. But I'm pretty sure they've all got much more fuel. Than them. Yeah, they've limited themselves in terms of range they can go. However. Having a lighter fuel load has just allowed them to come out of the pit lane just in front of them and what they'll be hoping for is that they can start to pull away from these guys. Oh, Demon R making the move on Diesel. I think Demon R has just realised something's gone wrong for him in this race. <laughs> yeah, and I think it was Bunsell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I think it could be the fuel though. I mean, this is the thing. I mean, you would expect P and Ernie, as we said, with the boost to undercut or if you are ahead anyway to get a bigger gap. But it's not happened. Yeah, I'm just going to say this, Diesel on his first race, we're 12 minutes in and he's right up behind the uh, five-time champion. Yeah, that he is, but he's been showing uh, some pretty uh, decent driving in the practice sessions. Um, I mean, he deserves his opportunity in this race, and that is for certain. So we'll see how he gets on in the remaining 27 minutes of this race as Demon R trying to close in on Tyler. And to be fair, I think Demon R has got to get a shift on because otherwise SGP and Steve F1 are going to finish this race ahead of him and close in on him on, in the championship standings. But right now, Demon R knows everybody behind him is probably on fresher tyres than him. So he's sinking well if I pay then coming up, I'm going to be in the same predicament. So, is it worth fighting as Mitch makes his move on Conrad and down in Mars Turn 1? Uh, he's giving it a damn good guy. I think the Mitch's done a little bit of touch between uh, Mitch and Conrod, and another little touch, but not a lot in it. As Gary now making his way past Conrod. Oh, oh Groover, big that. sideways in the background. I think yeah. he's, uh, he's good old mate Fluffy, mate. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if he did. I, I don't, uh, unless uh, Groover were doing a bit of drifting there. I think he might have got punted to end up going sideways through that corner. Possibly. You can always check that in the spy cam. Groover is the victim of the spy cam today. Is Conrod going up the inside of Mitch into turn five and Fluffy Ooh. squeezing past Gary and now Groover coming through up alongside Conrod as well. This could all get absolutely disastrous. Oh, yeah, yeah Groover <laughs> gives Fluffy a bit of a nudge and that's Groover off. They may not be friends anymore. Yeah, probably not. Uh, Fluffy, uh, I think he's seen more gravel in this race than. Uh, uh, Pamela Anderson on, on Baywatch. I wonder what he was going to say then. Uh, Bunsell behind Groover, alongside Gary. Nowhere for each of them to go other than to battle each other. Mandalorian currently leading the race. He was one of the first to pit. He didn't pit on the first lap, but he did pit early, but he's heading to the pits again. Um, so let's see how much fuel he's currently got on board. Hardly anything. He wouldn't go on another lap. SGP then retakes the lead of the race, followed by Steve F1, which is not what I was expecting to, to be saying. But the strategy is crucial here. What strategies are they going to do? 
Yeah, where is Mandalorian going to come out? I think he's going to come out right at the back of that pack there. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Dave the Art now attacking Diesel. Diesel got a bit out of shape there in towards the exit of turn two, which has compromised him through turn three. Dave the carrying a bit more speed, but I think he's just about got away with that as further up ahead. I think Demon R's closing in on Tyler from P3. He could well be, and I've just squirted all over myself with a bottle of water. Um, so, I'll tell you what, Diesel really is uh, impressing me at the moment. He's doing extremely well. It's not easy to come and race against people you've not known for very long, um, but he's keeping his nose clean for the moment around what is a difficult track. Now, you mentioned, James, about Demon R catching Tyler. You were absolutely spot on. He is catching Tyler. Um, I'm wondering uh, whether Tyler's saving fuel or maybe slipping with Tyler or perhaps just pace yeah I'm just wondering uh, who squirted on you on Pamela Anderson it? no it was uh, Buxton right okay so <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah Demon are really piling the pressure now on Tyler but these guys are pitted earlier than the guys in front can they try and stick onto the back of Steve F1 or is Steve F1 going to be able to pull away here? Well, the interesting thing here is, right, yes, these guys pitted earlier, but I think they filled their tanks, which means they can potentially go twice the distance of the two cars ahead of them, which means the two cars ahead of them could end up pitting before them, coming out way behind them, and then still having to do another pit stop when Tyler and Demon may only need to do one more. Mandalorian now attacking Conrad. Conrad covers it off. He's got the slipstream for a Mitch. Mandalorian moves to the inside, going a little late on the brakes, manages to just about make it work side by side, gives the route to Conrad as he slides back onto the track. I've got to say, that's good racing. I've, I've seen Mandalorian in the past not leave space there, let's put it that way. Well, Conrad's now under pressure from Groover because he were a bit out of shape on the exit of Turn 1. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Gary, Gary making his way through there past Groover. You know, Groover's dropped off a bit. Yeah, Mandalorian already pressuring um, Mitch, but Demon R still... Oh, Tyler's gone deep! He's gone... Oh. I think his tyres are struggling, you know. Right, well, that could be crucial if Tyler pitted and didn't change tyres, that could be why. Oh, you know not, what? I'm, I'm not saying that that's happened, what's happened, but that, that strikes to me as somebody who's paying for fuel. Oh, oh, I think Mandalorian may have just nudged Mitch off. Yes, he has. He's slowed down to let Mitch through, but that's allowed Conrod to come past. They're going to go three wide. No, they're not. They're going to go two wide into the hairpin. Conrod being opportunistic. I like that. Mandalorian nudges Mitch off, goes, sorry, I'll let you back through, and then gives him a nudge in the hairpin. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I think he's uh, trying to run it around the outside, but the gravel is waiting on the exit. Oh, big sideways! Oh, oh no! Oh, Pamela Anderson. Steve uh, F1 pits. This is what I was on about. Steve <laughs> F1, he's had to pit before Tyler and Demon R. So what? even if Tyler is struggling, which he is, Demon R is passing him, but Steve F1 has had to pit before him. That's a pr uh, I was thinking that they'd light fuel the uh, front two, but not that much. Yeah, that, that's surprising. Steve F1 is now going to have to fight his way through the pack. We've just seen there with Mandalorian how hard it is. Yeah, it's not easy. The thing is, I mean, can he get to the end from here? Yes, if he does a little bit of fuel saving, um, which he will be able to do. But how much longer are Tyler and Demon are going to go on their fuel? And how much fuel has SGP got? Because his pit stop wasn't that much longer than Steve F1's. Yes, Steve F1 now is currently in P11 and Groover is uh, quickly reeling him in so that tells me he's still on light fuel. That that doesn't look like a car. Ooh, Groover turns in and there's a car up the inside there. As, uh, but yeah, that tells me Steve F1's on a light fuel load. I don't think he'll be able to close in that quick even with the boost with a heavy car. Maybe, maybe, unless the car ahead, their tyres are shot. We'll see. Uh, Steve F1 going to try and go around the outside of Bunsell through turn nine. Doesn't quite work, but now comes Dave Yarp and Groover uh, taking a much faster line through the corner. Steve F1 having a look up the inside. Is he? No, he's, he's defending because Dave Yarp's putting the pressure on him now. Yeah, Bunsell there did really well, well to be uh, spotting that. Uh, Steve F1 could have slid into him and left a bit of extra space there. That was good to see. But yeah, side by side, Dave the Arp has just almost lost it, I think, in the background. 
he might have done you know what Steve F1 is finding it not easy to get past Bunsell and it's not uh, too wide through the final chicane here uh, well it can be done but you don't want to do it Bunsell into the pits that frees up Steve F1 Steve F1 will be loving that a couple more cars into the pits as well I think it was Fluffy Planet I could be wrong oh I am wrong because there's Fluffy driving down the main straight yeah so right now uh, SGP, Mitch. Like, oh it's Mitch, Mitch, oh Ooh. Mandalorian going for the inside line but that's pretty really wide, it's a bit tight, uh, I think Mandalorian probably should have backed out of that one. Quite possibly, yeah, making it three wide into turn one, that late, yeah, could be a little bit risky, uh, what I would say is though, um, you sometimes you need to set an alarm just to make sure you're not sleeping, um, but Steve F1 has capitalised there, he's managed to benefit, I I'd love to be able to see how much fuel he's actually got on board at the moment, but I'm fascinated by how much further SGP can go. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, it, well, it's going to be it's going to be a struggle if if SGP is able to turn the fuel mix down, and get he get a few more laps out, he could pit for new tyres and be uh, going full fuel burn to the end. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Gary, he's going to have to set his alarm clock here because if he's caught napping, Steve F1 is going to be all over him as Dave Dillon making his way. Is he? No, he's defending from Groover, not attacking Mandalorian. Um, and you know what? He's, I mean, I've mentioned about alarm clocks a few times. You know what? Uh, I used to have a friend who kept changing his, uh, the sound on his alarm clock all the time. I often, wonder, you know, I often wonder what he's getting up to now. Loads of people into the pits. Demon R, oh. Tyler. Oh, loads of people coming through the final chicane as well. Mandalorian all over the back of Steve F1. Yeah, indeed. So this is really heating up right now. And uh, yeah, Steve F1 is going to make his way through past Gary or his Mandalorian going to be looking for that Ooh. inside. This Demon R's coming out the pits as well. Yeah, that he is. Oh, nowhere for Mandalorian to go, is the Oh, he has a look up the inside, but backs out of it. Steve F1 makes the move. Mandalorian may be able to capitalise on Gary being a little bit out of position. He's sideways. Oh, he's just tagged the side of Dave the Old. Dave the Old gets away with it. Gary survives. That's got Demon R through. So, oh, this is fascinating now, because if Steve F1's going to the end, he's going to have Demon R and Mandalorian right up his backside. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, Groover up the inside of Gary as well. Gary, top. It's one of the natures of this track. You get offline and you can get pounced on from corner to corner to corner. Yeah, everybody. I think this is where we're seeing the guys that have stayed out and the guys that have pitted. And it's all a little bit chaotic at the moment. But we're not seeing lots of drivers spin off and I think I've just cursed it. Yeah, I think you get more than likely. <laughs> Actually, no, they're all doing all right through the chicane at the moment. Now we'll have to wait and see how they are going to get on for the remainder. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Tyler's making his move here on Gary as Bunsell's trying it on the racing line. Yeah, trying to get around Groover, Tyler can't make... Oh, SGP's into the pits now, so he's gone, what, three laps longer than Steve F1 did? Yeah, but I think SGP might be able to come out behind Twilight in front of the pack. Interestingly, looking at how much time is left, SGP... Oh, oh Mitch! Mitch. It takes a new line through the chicane. Um, Groover said into the pits. Yeah, SGP may not need to fully fuel given how long he's left. I do know a full tank you can make last 20 minutes, but there's only 16 and a half minutes to go. And yeah, SGP's coming out to head of Steve F1. Crucial. True. Oh, Mandalorian have a little look at Steve F1, but Steve F1's had to go wide and Mandalorian backs out of that in the last moment. And that's put him under pressure, but yeah, crucial there for SGP pitting coming out in front of everybody. You know what, this is absolutely fascinating. Conrod uh, has got the furthest into a race uh, in his DGT career so far. As Dave Yarp having a look at the inside of Mandalorian or is he covering off Demon R? Hard to tell at the moment. But this is fascinating because from what I know, these five cars, I think, can get to the end. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Having said that, Dave Yarp and Mandalorian do tend to like a late pit stop. But SGP has not got it all his own way here, that's for certain. Yeah, but he, he, he couldn't have asked for any more than this right now to have pitted and come out in front of these. One second more in the pit lane and that could have been fifth place, well, sixth place, easily. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. So Demon R having a look at the inside of Dave the Arp. Dave the Arp comes it off. Demon R going to try going around the outside. Is he? Dave the Arp's making the move on Mandalorian. <laughs> he was defending and he's made an overtake. Yeah, lovely, lovely bit Ooh. of driving there from uh, Dave the Arp because he's Oh, I think he's oh, going a bit wide though. Oh, dips that. a wheel in the gravel. 
Oh, and Demon has spotted it. <coughs> oh, don't be stupid. Not side by side through here. Oh, I cursed it last week, didn't I? They're going to do it side by side through. Oh, well, fair play. That's the way to do it if you're going to be side by side. Well, it's a tricky chicane to go through there on your own, and both of them have managed it. Davey Arms having a look back here at Demon Arms. That's how you take. Uh, slow corners in this car give plenty of room, but Tyler is he? Oh, Tyler just been nudged there by Demon R, and uh, yeah, Tyler could go up the inside, but he's backed out of it there. That's a smart thing to do there from Tyler. But Tyler, he could be uh, picking these guys off if they don't get a shift on. He really could. I mean, okay, yeah, David R and uh, Demon R went through that final chicane, lovely side by side, giving plenty of room, but they lost a ton of time, and they're absolutely under pressure from all of these guys behind. Tyler leading the pack. Uh, this could now be crucial as well because Mitch is there being hunted by Diesel uh, who's in ninth place at the moment. Bunsell attacking Gary up the inside into turn five. Should have that done if he can get it slowed down. Twilight there as well. Um, or Bunsell. He's, he's not quite made the move yet but he's got a good chance here. Yeah, Gary just Ooh, carried just... the speed. Oh, Bunsell taking too much speed in there and that just shoved into the side of Gary and that's what we were talking about last week when you're going to run through a fast corner you need to be braking earlier to allow cars so there's a few guys Gary I think and Fluffy in the background getting a little bit sideways yeah Demon R's just made the move on Dave the Harp into the hairpin so that gets Demon R up to fifth place and in a way he needed to make that move he can't afford to let SGP or Steve F1 run away uh, I haven't mentioned Mandalorian there but that's only because Mandalorian is a little bit further away in the championship Conrad into the pits then for what will be his final stop but it'll be a short one because he's only going to need 14 minutes worth of fuel yeah. Mitch in the pits Ooh. Fair few guys in the pit oh. lane. Oh, somebody's gone spinning there in the background. Is that Gary? I think it is, and it looks like Fluffy may be waiting for Gary as well. So I think Fluffy may have just uh, spun Gary around and is waiting for him. Tyler trying to attack Dave the Arp, but not quite able to do it at the moment. Demon R is opening up a little bit of a gap to Dave the Arp, so Dave's going to have to be careful. Tyler with that move up the inside again. Not quite worked on this occasion. Dave the Arp covers it off. Yeah. But the, uh, the front guy, Steve F1, is closing in on SGP, which is surprising because SGP's on the newest tyres. So I would have thought SGP might have been able to pull a gap, but there you can see Steve F1 is uh, he's not letting him go yet. Interestingly, you know, James, I mean, well, it's possible that he didn't put enough fuel in his car to run full burn to the end. Instead, he chose to get out of the pits ahead of the pack as Diesel making a move on Conrod. Side by side, the two Ooh. go. Oh, but that's Conrod into the gravel, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. it is. But I was just wondering whether that was uh, Diesel putting him in there. I think it may have been. I think it, I think it was, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, he's recognised that. He's, and, yeah. uh, I think he's he's pulled off the racing line and he's uh, letting everybody through. And that's, that's the way that you give him a position back. But right now, he's in the apex of the corner. Oh, he's <laughs> Yeah, and, and uh, Mitch, Mitch as well. On the upside, so yeah, that's really compromised him massively there. Oh, is uh, Bunsell there giving him a shove in the rear? It has, yeah, but it's, one of, it's one of those things. It's like we said before, though. I mean, um, uh, Conrod will have seen that he, well, he would have known that he, he's nerfed him off, and then he's seen him not only give the position back to him, but end up losing multiple places as well. And it's one of those things. It's a case of okay, it's frustrating to get hit off, but okay, fair play. The guy's worked it. For him. Yeah. So, right now, Tyler is really hassling Dave Arp, but Dave Arp doesn't appear to have the pace of Demon Arm. He dropped off Demon Arm, and that might be why running onto the gravel and the grass is not going to be great for them tyres for Dave Arp. No, I mean, you took that inside where you can just be fake, so easily spin it there, so Dave's done well to keep control of it. He just needs to cover Tyler off in the right places, and that's the thing with this track. You don't necessarily have to defend everywhere, you just have to pick the right times to defend so for example this corner if you've got enough of a gap you don't need to defend it if you do when you don't need to you'll lose a ton of time the hairpin you may need to defend that but you can do that without losing a ton of time oh the mandalorian runs a little bit wide but he is all over the back of steve f1 this is interesting now so steve f1 was closing in on sgp but mandalorian has closed in on the both of them yeah but could that be light fuel could it be that Mandalorian's getting near the bottom of his fuel tank which is making him 
so relatively fast compared to Steve F1. You know what it could be? He was one of the first to pit, as I mentioned. Uh, I mean, what we've got, just over 10 minutes to go in this race as uh, Mandalorian is clunking the sausage curbs. Uh, Steve F1 still, where's Mandalorian gone? Oh, oh he's in the pit. pit. <sighs> I thought he'd spun it, yeah, so Mandalorian into the pits then, but it'll be a quick stop, but will he get out ahead of the pack? I'm not sure, Mitch clunking the kerbs. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get out in front of the pack, but... Oh, Diesel's up his inside! That's oh, a, brilliant. That, I like that, I like that. It's not an easy move to go for, and to be fair, Mitch has managed to carry the speed, but sometimes a car ahead of you can make a mess of the chicane. Oh, Mandalorian and Dave, they are both pitted and fluffy, and they've come out right at the back. Holy cow! Right, there's only 10 minutes to go, so that's going to be crucial for them to make their way through the pack as quick and as efficient as possible. But that's not that's not an easy task, especially when some of these guys have only just paid a few laps. Yeah, ago. Conrod recently pitted, um, so I, he doesn't need to stop again, I don't believe. I'm not sure when Twilight pitted. Um, but Tyler, I don't think Tyler needs to pit again, as Conrod's reckon his move here on Twilight. Yeah, that is nice move, nice bit of dancing from Twilight and Conrod there as Mandalorian side by side with Groover in the background as they make their way towards the chicane. I must admit, I love this chicane, apart from when you get it wrong, and I hate it all. Oh, Groover's ran wide. Yeah, Mandalorian there leaving space just in case Groover managed to hold the speed and Groover's got back up to speed and drowned his tail, but oh, yeah, No, it off. wasn't. It was Rich, sorry. Yeah, Rich, sorry, off uh, into the gravel, but no, oh, Dave the Art trying to make his way through where... Oh, uh, oh Mandalorian's lost the rear end, that's a disaster there. Yeah, in that corner he could lose a ton of places. Um, I, just, I can't quite see what's happened, but you know what, I've got a feeling Tyler, mate. De hang on, Demon R and Steve have one of the pits, but they've got more than enough fuel. Could it just be the new tyres? Could they just think that the new tyres are worth it. Where are they going to come out relative to Tyler? There they are, but Tyler's going to jump both of them, I think. Oh, you know what? This could be crucial. If Tyler can get ahead of them, OK, he's going to have older tyres, but he's got the position, and sometimes the position is what you need. But, I mean, it's interesting that both Steve F1 and Demon R went for that. I mean, surely if one of them hadn't, they'd be now on for second place. Yeah, but it, we're going to see now how crucial it is to have new tyres around here, as we know. The front left tyre gets absolutely knackered round here, so Steve we might. Yes. The inside of Tyler, Ooh. can he make Tyler. it? I think Tyler might be able to carry the speed there. That might compromise Steve F1. Oh, Steve! Demon Hall's coming past Steve F1 round right the outside, carried the speed. Now gets the slipstream, but Steve F1's having none of it. Oh, he squeezed him, but I Ooh. think he's let him through. Thank God for that pin on the outside. If that had been gravel. Demon had been uh, yeah, out there with Pamela Anderson again. Oh, Steve yeah. F1 coming back on the racing line, he might be able to outbreak Demon Hard, but Demon Hard says no thank you. But has that left him open for attack? I don't know. I, I really do think these, ta these two need to be working together, not fighting. But it's so hard when you know that they're, they're the, the title contenders. Yeah, that is true. Um, I mean, the thing is as well, with, with the tyre advantage that they currently have on Tyler, you could easily... Th oh, Demon, I was gone deep into the final chicane. I was going to say, you could easily think that Tyler would be a sitting duck, but all it takes is a mistake like that, and Demon, is not going to be close enough to attack Tyler into Turn 1. Yeah, yeah, crucial though. SGP needs these two guys to be falling over each other. He does not need them blitzing past Tyler and catching him at like a second lap. SGP now can hopefully think, right, Tyler's holding him up and they're not making it through. Yeah, and if he does need to save any fuel, now would be the perfect time to do it. Because uh, I don't think Demon R or Steve F1 needed fuel there. It simply looks like they went for tyres just to try and change up what was happening around them. Um, but they're losing time now behind Tyler. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Them fighting each other before getting past Tyler, who's starting to cost them big time. As uh, Mitch, uh, yeah, he's. Uh, comes good seems in the, in the past couple of races near the end and uh, yeah hopefully if you can get past Conrad that'll be him up to uh, a decent position there as Tyler now starting to come under pressure from yeah, Demon R. He is the Tyler's tyres maybe struggling a little bit running a little bit wider on the break oh Demon R slipping up the inside oh it's a bit of a late move I can't blame Tyler for turning in there or oh, Steve F1 says thank you very much I'll have some of that as well it was a bit of a late move, but if you know somebody behind you has got brand new tyres, I would say get defending. If 
thought, even though you feel like you'll probably be defending fresh air, you left the door oh, wide open. Oh, in the gravel! Oh, no! Luckily, he's gone invisible. But yeah, is he going to is he going to wait for everybody to go past? Or is he going to be crazy pulling in front of Mall? Uh, I've no idea. At the moment, we're looking at Dave the Harp. Um, interestingly, Diesel got a little bit of a gap to Dave the Harp and Mandalorian at the moment, and Twilight, and Groover, and Bonsall, and Fluffy. Um, I mean, it's interesting what you said. That I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. Sometimes you'd have to take ties into account as Bonsall is uh, making his way past Groover, but Groover's got the slipstream of Twilight, but nowhere to go. Bonsall making the move, is he? No, Twilight's having none of it, and Groover is holding on to that position. Uh, yeah, so you do. I mean, maybe you have to take into consideration that a car behind might have fresher tyres than you, but at the same time, there is a fine line between um, making a, a, an okay late move and making a move that's going to make uh, even a blind man go whoa yeah uh, like, like you said <laughs> like we said last week uh, ooh, ooh, Dave the Amp going defensive there knowing going deep that, as well yeah I think Man Lawrence starting to sniff that rear end and that's uh, yeah not a pretty sight but yeah as we were saying uh, if you're if you're going to go for one of these late lunges if you can't control your car at the apex of the corner and you're out of control it's your fault but if you can, can keep your car speed under control at the apex and hold it uh, I'd say you're within your right to uh, have a little cheeky sniff as Groover's wiggling all over I don't know where he's going but Bunsell's going up the inside of Jimmy just for the sake I'm going to say James's comment I is definitely a situation dependent on Steve F1 he's decided to turn left when the track goes right and Tyler says thank you very much oh that's a disaster for Steve F1 Steve F1 right now will be thinking I shouldn't have paid yeah he was, because he were in front of Demon R and he'd have had a, enough of a gap to probably hold him off to the end of the race but unfortunately now he's made that mistake he'll be absolutely kicking himself you know what you also might be thinking could be championship fight over SGP, if he goes on to win this race and Steve F1 finishes fourth, that's what a seven point gain SGP would have on him. Well, he's, he's, he's trying to make sure that, he, that he's not a fourth place finish as he's making his way into third, but has he gone deep? No, he's managed to hold it, and that's him in front of Tyler. So I would say that third position, unless he makes another mistake, that is definitely on the cards. Fluffy, have a little look at Twilight as Groovers all over Fluffy's rear end. So the front four currently spread at the moment then, everybody else decided to be on the same bit of tarmac at the same time. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, interestingly, Mandalorian looked like he was in for the, the battle for the win, but since his last pit stop, he's just been stuck in the back. Fluffy, right behind Twilight, Groover there, Jimmy sideways uh, with Bunsell. Um, but this is where I would just like to hope that these guys are going to be sensible with what? Only two and a half minutes on the clock, James, as Fluffy has got a decent run on Twilight, but Groover's going to have the inside line here. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is getting tight, but it's not getting too mental. At Ooh. Oh, Bunsell there! <laughs> you know what? I think, uh, I think, flying, I think. Well, I think Jimmy may have given Bunsell a little bit of a tap, which then led Bunsell to hit a car ahead, and then Bunsell got hit from behind. All a little bit sort of concertina yeah. and not sounding very nice uh, yeah. musically. All getting a bit nasty in the crucial final five minutes, so there could be. Situations where it's an accident, or it could be a situation where somebody's at fault, and that's going to incur a very harsh penalty, I think, in the final five minutes as Groover is up the inside of Tyler and uh, Man Warren having a little look here at Demon, uh, Dave the Arp. Yeah, that he is, and Groover is also up the inside of Twilight. Um, <laughs> you, I'm going to make sure that Twilight and Tyler, have, I mean, the, the deliveries aren't even the same, James. Um, well, I, I, I do it the same oh, with, oh, Sorry, Conrad on Fluffy, yeah. Conrad on the inside. Oh, is he going to make it three wide? No, Groover's got that covered off. Fluffy and Groover now side by side as they're making their way towards turn five. Oh, you know what? This could get interesting. Conrad sneaking up the inside. Oh, it's been a contact between himself and Fluffy. And around Fluffy goes, oh, and now oh. Gary's nailed him. Oh, dear. I think that the, the game should have kept Fluffy invisible when he was stationary there. Oh, Mandalorian! Oh, he's almost lost it, but he's managed to keep it completely out of the wall, but that's allowed Tyler through, and here comes Gruber. Yeah, I don't think there was a lot Gruber could have done there as Mandalorian was <laughs> coming back to the track after his grass-cutting experience uh, as they make their way now down into the hairpin. Mandalorian's going to have to be careful. He's got dirty tyres. Gruber yeah. giving him just enough room. bunsell has got a decent run on the exit, though. Yeah, this is all falling apart now for Mandalorian. He was fighting up at the front, but now 
be stuck in 10th place with uh, what will probably only be one more lap to go so yep. this is not looking good for him right now he needs a miracle if he's going to find his way through in front of about five cars which I do not see happening to be fair Conrad sat in 12th and I mean he had a spin uh, not that long ago which was massively costly for him but at the same time I think he'd just be glad to get to the end so Mandaroy now having a look up the inside of Groover oh Gro Twilight is deciding to share the slipstream to make it <laughs> tricky Groover's got nowhere to go alongside Bunzel and Mandaroy but manages to keep hold of the lead as Man uh, not the lead but keep hold of the position we are now definitely 100% on to the final lap of the race I was trying to mention the SGP outside final lap or oh, Bunzel he's trying to sneak Ooh. up the inside of Mandalorian and Groover this is like uh, Hamilton of Rosberg yeah oh Bunzel's gone in there and that's just Ooh. knocked into Mando oh Mando Conrad gone absolutely flying on the last lap and that uh, yeah that's just uh, well one of the one of the uh, top four contenders in the championship disaster on the last lap so yeah. that's just a, a start warning for the front three if they have some act like that happen to them the uh, the championship could be up in the air but SGP he's not had to worry about that he's only got to worry about the final few corners now because he's going to go on to absolutely run away with this race and it's all fallen very nicely into his hands like that final pit stop yeah, I mean, I was just about to say he may not have always had the fastest of pace, but his strategies have definitely been working for him as he takes victory here in Catalonia. Demon R finishing in second place, so SGP closes that gap. Steve F1 crucially finishes third, but could be costly for him. Tyler, a great result to finish in fourth. Mitch, I think Mitch will be happy to finish in fifth place uh, in this race today. It's been a tough one. Diesel on his debut. Brilliant. Gonna finish sixth ahead of Dave the Harp. Oh, oh. is that fluff? B and Bunzel uh, bumping yeah. Nuglis down the main straight. Conrad delighted crossing the line, actually finishing the race. Rich Blues just ahead of Jimmy Garuba. Where's Formula Gary? Formula Gary, is he? He's going slow. Is he out of fuel? Or is, uh, is he waiting? Know. I don't know. Is Mandalorian out of fuel? I, I don't know. Is he? <laughs> what on earth is he doing? <laughs> I think he's very unhappy with himself. Uh, I, reckon, I reckon he should get a race ban for stopping on track. <laughs> oh dear. Luckily, everybody were in front of him though. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. I, well, I will say that. I mean, SGP, I mean, he's, he's won another race. And to be fair, I didn't think that was going to be happening even 20 minutes into the race with how the strategies were looking. But it's strategies that have he's really made pay off for him um, yeah, in yeah, this championship. Indeed. And the sneaky thing is, he keeps saying in all of the practice sessions, from what I've been hearing, oh, I don't know what to do with my strategy, I ain't got a clue, and then just for I ain't yeah, got a clue what to He knows exactly yeah, what he's doing. He knows doing. what he's doing. He, yeah. he, he's playing dumb. Yeah. He's playing it absolutely dumb. He's like Einstein, but he's looking like. Um, Darrow O'Brien. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Darrow O'Brien, but with no income. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I mean, it, it makes things interesting for the last couple of races, though. Um, I mean, it's. I mean, yeah. Demon R had a nine point lead going into this race. I think now he's only going to have about a six point lead with two mm. races to go. Steve F1 is, is a little bit further behind, but he's still in it. It would only take one disaster. I mean, if Demon R has a disaster in the next race and SGP has a disaster in the last race, Steve F1 can still win this championship. It's not yeah. over for him. Yeah. But if SGP beats Demon R in the next race, holy cow. We go down yeah, to a last, a last race. Wire, yeah. yeah, and the thing is, I uh, just want to mention as well. Actually, uh, obviously, we'll show the the post race uh, comments from uh, from the drivers if we can. Um, but I also want to mention the next track is San Qua C, long, tricky, very nice in this car. Um, but another circuit where strategy could be crucial because of how long the lap is. To be fair, qualifying at that circuit is going to be a nightmare because such a long lap, you could make two errors on your lap and still get pole position. Or mm. you could make 
two errors and we could have a surprise pole position because somebody else hasn't made errors and gets there and similar for in the race but what I do find interesting is I believe most people in DGT League have raced around that San Juan circuit in the VW Supersport so it wouldn't necessarily be a new track to them apart from perhaps Diesel if he's able to race as a reserve but the last race of the championship normally in the DGT League at some point the race at the DGT Seaside well we are this mm. championship but in reverse yeah. and as far as I know there's only one person at the moment that likes that track in reverse is that Mandalorian? no oh. it's SGP right well yeah well uh, well let, well Mandalorian I, th I think I've heard that he likes that so hopefully he can give SGP a little bit of a run for his money around there but wow. we will only find out when we get there uh, but yeah, I've got to say, that 40 minutes just flew. Yeah, And did. Uh, I think that was just fantastic racing between everybody there. Yeah. Uh, there were a few odd little bumps and bruises along the way, but absolutely fantastic racing. Yeah. I mean, you're always going to get some crashes now and again. That's part of racing. But yeah, there's some brilliant stuff out there today. i got to say, though, I mean, <clears throat> Diesel uh, coming in as a reserve, qualified okay, well, qualified well he was worried about his qualifying pace not being up there with the quick guys but his race pace was absolutely fine and his race craft was fine as well so yeah i've got to say well done uh, to him it's not easy we've seen a number of people come and have their first race and just get absolutely swamped by the pack um it's not an easy situation to come into but He's done extremely well on his first race, uh, that's for certain. Tyler's doing well, Mandalorian, unlucky, Steve F1. I think you were right, I think he'll be kicking himself that he pitted. If he hadn't have pitted, he'd have probably finished second. Um, yeah. Because if he hadn't have pitted, Demon R probably still would have done. So, mm, he'd have had a chance. It's, But hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah, indeed, indeed. But I think this is just going to like I say it's it's the best thing for the championship it, the only thing that could have made it a bit more spicy is if Steve F1 had been able to hold on to P2 and uh, but could have wanted a shudder and that just uh, that will be playing I think on Steve F1's mind but Steve F1 and the next circuit is such a long circuit um, that yeah that could uh, be crucial especially if somebody goes into the final lap and they've not got enough fuel, Ooh, yeah, that that around that circuit will be absolutely crucial. That's one thing we need to watch out for on the last lap of uh, of that race because yeah, I think it's about a three minute lap yes. um, per lap, so that's double Spain because Spain was one one thirty odd ish, yeah, yeah thirty, yeah. So yeah, that will be definitely one to watch out for. Um, but yeah, all I can say is it's it's uh, it's hotting up, and if anything, um, we've been saying that Tyler's been impressing us a lot over the next few races. I think that's going to work out that, that Tyler will have jumped into fourth place in the uh, in the championship. I think quite possibly you know what there's only one way to find out, and that is to check out the confirmed race results and the championship standings James thank you very much for joining us on commentary no problem at I'm, all I'm going to go and set my alarm have a good one uh, everybody and uh, it's bye from James and it's continued from me for the race results and championship standings right and we're done confirmation then SGP takes the victory and the maximum 20 points and he finishes ahead of Demon R in second place scoring 17 points Steve F1 finished in third scores 15th with Tyler in fourth on 13 points Mitch finished in fifth scores 11 and Diesel on his debut gotta say a brilliant result for him finishes in sixth place scoring 10 points so straight into double figures 
David Hart finished in 7th, with Twilight right behind him in 8th place. Bunsell finished in 9th, but unfortunately uh, is the first victim of the incident penalty after 35 minutes, so it is a double points penalty for Bunsell. Fluffy Planet finished in 10th place, scoring 6 points, and he was just ahead of Conrad Racing in 11th. Rich Blues finished in 12th, ahead of his rival, Jimmy. Um, Jimmy is the new rival for Rich, with uh, SRI not available to race uh, on a few races at the moment. Uh, and Jimmy finished just ahead of Garuva. Formula Gary finished in the last point, scoring position in 15th place, and uh, as we saw, Mandalorian finished last in 16th. Unfortunately, those scores a minus five point penalty for an incident earlier in the race which is why it's a lesser penalty than what Bunsell received okay let's take a look at what that result then has done to the championship standings with two races to go demon R still leading the way on 112 points but SGP only six behind him now in second place Steve F1 takes third on his own in 90 uh, with 98 points he's still in it but it could be tough to win to regain his title uh, Tyler sitting in fourth now he's jumped up to fourth on 83 points Mandalorian drops down to fifth on 73 Dave the harp sitting on 69 I'm not sure that's the right usage of words there but I'll stick with it Mitch is in seventh place uh, just ahead of Jason who's been unable to race for the last couple of races fluffy planet now in ninth place only one behind Jason and he's just ahead of Twilight Bunsell holds on to 11th place with his penalty um, but now on 30 points with rich blues right behind him uh, on 27 Jimmy is is seven behind Rich sitting in 13th place and then we've got Groover closely followed by Formula Gary and SRI Diesel with his first uh, scoring result on his debut jumps straight up to 17th place but I think Conrad will be happy with his result in the end because he got to the end uh, although he is still in uh, at the bottom of the table but now it's in 18th place I feel for him uh, first race he scored points in a long time and he still loses a position <laughs> that if he didn't have bad luck he'd have no luck at all um, okay the next race is round eight of nine, which will be from the circuit de San Quan C. It's a very long circuit. It's a very fast circuit, especially in these cars with a few very, very tricky corners. Absolutely anything can happen there. Last time DGT League race there, Jason ran away with the race. Um, I'm not sure if Jason's gonna be able to race there this time around. If he can't, are we going to have a surprise winner? Are we going to have SGP beating Demon R and taking the championship to the final round? Are we going to see Steve F1 put up a final fight to get himself back into the title fight? There's only one way to find out, and that is to come and check out the DGT League Race 8 from San Juan next week. Have a great one, everybody. Stay safe, stay home, support the NHS, and save lives. And see you all again soon.